Do you believe this? Ah, oh, it's so refreshing out here with the bells and the chimes. This is the Colorado Tripod Company's Centennial Tripod. It was a Kickstarter program uh, about a year or so ago. I know the fellow that started it. Uh, he's involved in the photography industry in a number of ways. He has a filter company and other things. But he decided he wanted to try to make a, a different and uh, better tripod. Uh, it's a carbon fiber tripod. This whole tripod weighs with the head just a little over three pounds. I want light tripods. I don't know why. I've got probably a dozen tripods in my camera closet. And a lot of those are really heavy tripods. Nothing like hauling up a hill on a hike in Iceland with a heavy tripod and a phase one camera system. No wonder I've had back surgery. We'll start from the bottom and work our way up is you can take the little rubber shoes off, which every time I do, I lose one. Oh, there goes the <laughs> That's why I keep losing stuff. You do have uh, spikes, so you can use uh, with the rubber uh, feet or the built-in spike, which uh, easily exposes itself. Watch out, here it comes. Boom. You can grab with your one hand, if you have a big hand like mine, and unscrew all the legs and bring them all out at once. And then just tighten them. One of the things that I really like about this tripod is it's got these release levers. And rather than have a lever where you push, I can just basically go all the way up and then they have ratchets on the way down. So let's talk a little bit about uh, everything above the apex. The apex is the little platform here. Uh, you can see there's a lot of holes in here to save weight and ounces add up after a while. So we just loosen the collar and we can raise up and down the center column wherever we want. Uh, like I said, I hardly ever use this center column, but uh, it's nice that it's there if I want to. So basically I always have it in the lock mode and don't end up using it. The first knob we come to is the uh, rotation knob. You can rotate it and tighten it down when you're ready. Now I'm gonna rotate it around because I want you to see something. And uh, that's the unique design they have in here, which is the uh, cutoff or so you can actually do vertical pictures. So I can loosen the main knob and we'll come back to that in a minute and bring it down and lock it in. And if I had a, a, a plate or a camera on here, I would now be in what's called portrait mode. So the next knob we come to is a tension knob. And the uh, tension knob works in conjunction with the big knob. And this is basically operating a ball head. So as you loosen this, the ball head becomes a lot more movable and you tighten that back up when you're ready and you have it in the spot you want. And uh, it is really stiff and tight, so it doesn't move. Um, once again, though, you can kind of regulate the stiffness of the whole mechanism by this one knob here. So I kind of have it at a spot where, for me, once the camera's on there, there's a little weight, it kind of has enough friction that I can move it freely, but I just don't see it falling over like that. Colorado Tripod Company has two methods of attaching plates. Uh, and I got this tripod, they only had one. Now what I like about this versus others is if you forget your hex wrench, you can hand tighten this because there's a little, little part that pops out like that and you can screw it into the back of your camera and then you can take a key or anything and put it through the hole and just give it one more yank to tighten it down. Or if you have an Allen wrench, you can use it. So these are pretty nice to have and uh, it's a flat plate, it's kind of a standard plate and it works okay. Uh, I prefer the clamping mount though, where you have a safety button and a clamp and you can get it on and off a lot quicker. I've sometimes uh, not had this down as tight as I would like. I do prefer the clamping mounts because therefore I know I really got it down tight. But let's, let's just put a, a regular camera on. This is my A7R4 and uh, it's got a really right stuff L bracket on. And as you can see, once it works and you get a camera on here, I can operate freely like that. Now, I use Peak Design strap lugs and straps like you see here, so I can easily remove these from the camera and prevent any blowing in the wind, especially when I'm doing landscape photography. Let's, uh, I'll take those off right real quickly. Just like that, I can take this off. Um, just a side note is that these are really cool because they have like a lever and you can adjust the size instantly and then just clamp it right back down. So anyway, a little side note, we'll come back to Peak Design stuff some other time. Ooh. Now, I can go to the vertical mode, like I said, by unbolting it and coming this way. 
because sometimes the camera is just off to the side and you lose a little stability because it's kind of off balance. So I really highly recommend L brackets. And you can see there's an L bracket here and then I'll do this sideways so you can see it. You unscrew the, uh, the plate tightener, put the bracket back in and tighten it down again. Now, this takes a little time tightening it down and that's why I like the clamp bracket a little better. And you gotta really make sure you're, you got it tight. But now I have it in portrait mode and I can easily move it around and shoot portraits and you know, I can even go back to horizontal this way if I want. Uh, this tripod with the head, which is around $99 and the tripod, uh, which is around $299, uh, gives you a, a really nice package for the price compared to uh, some other tripods which start at $1,000 and then you have to put the heads on and everything else and they get to be rather expensive. So this is lightweight, it's easy to travel with, it works nicely. Uh, I've had a lot of experience now with it, I've had it for maybe six months or more. Um, I haven't had any issues, I've shot with it a lot. One of the things I will comment on is these legs come loose after a while, but I've seen that happen on many tripods. So. Uh, normally we all travel in our camera bag with a set of Allen wrenches and if you put one Allen wrench in and another Allen wrench in and just counter turn them you can tighten the legs back up to where you want them. So you kind of have to find with everything else that right tension. You know one that's easy to come in and out but it's not flopping around. I do find sometimes this gets a little stiff you really have to adjust it to your liking but kind of once you lock it in there where you want it you're going to have a very nice tripod. So uh, these tripods are back ordered right now they've been back ordered for a while uh, I think with a lot of things photographically, uh, they're getting hard to get the pieces and the parts and put together. And also I know that this tripod's selling pretty good from uh, where I can uh, see. Now they've got one new tripod coming that, uh, this is the carbon fiber version, that they do have a titanium tripod that's gonna be about $1,000. And I guess that's supposed to be really lightweight and really strong. And it's been on back order for a while too. So keep that all in mind if you'd like one of these things. You certainly can't go wrong with it, uh, especially if your budget is limited. You'll get great functionality as you would from tripods, $1,000 or more for a fraction of the price. So anyway, this is Kevin Raver from Photo PXL, where we're working every day to enhance your vision. It's cold out here, and uh, I may end up actually taking some pictures today. So take care, everybody, and we'll see you in the next video. And I kind of like uh, a tightness to that where it doesn't spin that easily. Oh, it's Deborah. Yeah, she did. Michael, hi. 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 Talk to you soon. I love you. Bye. Remind me why we're out here in this kind of. This is your idea. <laughs>